My name is Seth. Uh, my next problem is from section 3.4, number 10, which is asking, which goes a rock thrown vertically upward from the surface of the moon at a velocity of 24 meters per second reaches a height of s equals 24 t minus 0 0.8 t squared meters in t seconds. So this question has five parts to it. So letter A is asking find the rock's velocity and acceleration at t time. So So add to the position function um, yeah, equals 24 t times 0 0.8 t squared. Um, the velocity function is going to be the uh, prime of our position function, which equals this to the 24 minus 1.6 t. Okay, can you just, since George hand sort of covers this, just pause a bit so that people can see what you've done. Thank you. Uh, and then from there, since we don't know what t is, I solved for t by setting um, our velocity equation to zero. Zero equals 24 minus 1.6 t, subtract 24 from both sides, and 24 minus 1.6, oh, 24, no, hold on, there. negative 24 equals negative 1.6 t, t equals 15 seconds. And then to find the velocity, I just plugged in 15 seconds for t to the velocity. What, uh, what work are you doing here? It's, it's not asking when the velocity is zero, or I don't think it is. It's just asking for the velocity and acceleration functions. Well, you don't know what t is, do you? This is 24 meters per second. But the velocity, I mean, the velocity is a function, just yeah. like the position has a t in it, 24 t minus 0.8 t squared. The position changes with time. The velocity also changes with time. The velocity is 24 minus 1.6 t. Yeah. So they need an answer for that or they just want the equation? That, that is the answer. I mean, they're asking for the equation. Okay. Velocity, 24, minus 1.6 t. And from there, for the acceleration, Acceleration is t is the velocity is the prime of the velocity equation. So that would equal 24 point 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 24 minus 1.6 t. So 24 goes to zero, and the acceleration is going to be one negative 1.6 meters per second. All right. All right. So B, it asks how long does it take the rock to reach its highest point? Well, I figured it was 15 seconds. So by doing that, I just set the velocity equation to zero. Solve for t again. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So when the velocity is positive, it's going up. When it's negative, it's going down. 
So that one moment at the top of the arc, or it's not going up or going down, the velocity is zero. That's a mere 15 seconds. The letter C, uh, how high does the rock go? Um, I just- Can you uh, move the oh, book a little bit? Bad. So for part, for part C, it asks how high does the rock go? Um, I just plug that into the velocity equation again. Just plugged in 15, 1.4 times 1.6 times 15, which gives an answer of 90. Or, yeah, it should give an answer to that. No, that's not right. I actually plug it into the position formula for right. position. So it would be F of 15 equals 24 times 15 minus 0 0.8 times 15 squared, which then got me to 180 meters as being the highest point. For letter, letter D, it asks how long does it take the rock to reach half its maximum height. So from there, I just kind of set up an, um, a ratio. So it takes so 180 meters for 15 seconds equals 90 meters per X. Um, and that turns out to be seven and a half seconds to reach its half of its maximum height. I'm not convinced of that because, because the object speed is in constant. If it were moving at a constant speed and it took 15 seconds to get up here, then I agree it would take half of 15, 7.5 to get up here. Um, as it is, I think, and you don't, you don't have to do this live, but I think you use the quadratic formula. If you want to know when it reaches a height of 90, you'd set the quadratic equal to 90, and solve that. Okay. You want me to do that? On no. Your... Okay. And then, letter E, final question to this problem. How long is the rock aloft? Um, from there, I just set the position formula equal to zero and solve for T. So zero equals 0.4 T minus 0 0.8 T squared. Um, from there, I factored out a T from both sides, so it's zero equals 24 minus 0 0.8 T, subtract 24 from both sides, negative 24 equals negative 0 0.8 T, from there, divide by negative 0.8, T equals 30 seconds. All right, and I agree with that. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs>